Oh. Yeah. Away. What's amazing is we got some news today right before the show went live, although this this there had been a conversation about this for a while. But it looks like, and I'm very excited because I loved this film, we're getting a count in two this year. That's right. Yeah. Follow up to the 2016 hit. Uh, we're going to get both Ben Affleck and John Barron fall back, supposedly, and they are going to start shooting soon, like really soon. So, um, yeah, so it looks like... Um, it looks like we're going to get some amazing stuff uh, from the film. There really wasn't much more than that, other than to say we're getting a sequel. I can't wait to see it. You can you can find this What's article the over behind comment. this. I believe it's um, it's Lionsgate, but I'll double check. So yeah, I I was just excited. Yeah, I I love the original film. It's something I will I'll actually put in now, um, and and rewatch. Um, uh, as many times as you know, I I need to. Uh, th- there have been days I've watched this film like three times in a row. And back when it came out, I mean, John Lithgow. No, del- go ahead. It is the, this makes so much. This makes a lot of sense. This is a Warner Brothers film. Oh, is it Warner Brothers? Okay. Now the reason why I'm just going to chime in, like I I've not seen the account, and I know loads of people will be having uproar about it. I'll check it out. It's fine. Calm down. But the reason why this makes a lot of sense, um. Because this was the movie that he did allegedly to get the green light to be able to do. Um, or I can't remember what it was. This was the movie that he did, which then inspired them confidence wise to green light his Batman or something along those lines of him as a director. But the response, it wasn't a massive hit in terms of financials, but they're going back to it. Now, why would they be going back to it? They'll be going back to this because they think that they, they, they have to create movies this is going to what uh, people have been saying before, these studio heads. Um, oh, someone says Live By Night. Yeah, I think it was that one, actually. So that one bombed. So this was what greenlit it, then Live By Night bombed or something like that. One of the two. But they'll go back to these kind of films more and more now. And this is what we've been saying. These are the types of movies you'd get a lot of, but we just haven't because people have been focusing on blockbusters, big superhero franchises. So... This is the start of us actually seeing more normal movies in theaters, which is a really good thing, actually. Yeah, it does. It doesn't but require it's a sequel. Not, yeah, and it doesn't require a huge budget. But it's a new I property, mean, though. Yeah. Oh no, it's still I mean, a sequel. It, it's a sequel, but but it's it's again, it's something that I think they can work from, and I think again, I think it doesn't require a huge budget. Ben Affleck did a good job in this film. Anna Kendrick did a great job in this film. John Lithgow did a great job in this film. And John Barenthal did a great job in this film. So the fact that they're making a sequel makes a lot of sense. Now, obviously, John Lithgow is not going to make the sequel because he, you know, spoiler alert, he's dead. But, um, yeah, this this is a really good film. Really good. It, it, I, no, I'm looking I mean, forward to it. Andre, you got anything to add to this? You know about this? Thoughts about the, the I, normal I, I movies? Have, I have not seen the first oh, account. I have not seen the first account, but I, uh, but uh, but I'll check it out eventually. Certainly, if this one turns out to be something uh, something uh, cool, uh, so so yeah, hoping for the best. I have to say that Ben Affleck has really impressed me as a filmmaker. Uh, so it's not like every single movie of his that I make a priority of sitting down to watch. I mean, doing what we do, we have to be selective because everything takes so much time and you can't always sit and watch the stuff that's like, yeah, I'll get to it eventually. Well, that means you're probably not going to get to it. For me, the accountant fell into like that category. So I'll check out the the accountant when accountant two is uh, is approaching and I hope for the best. So good. I'm always happy happy to hear like good movie news, and that includes sequels to some really original stuff by really talented people. And awesome, bring it. So good news all around. Even though I'm not really familiar with it. Okay, Tom. fair enough. I'm just sitting here going, "Do you hear the irony of saying I'm so glad we get something original and like The Accountant too?" Well, yeah, but it's 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 a new it's a new property, isn't it? I mean, it's 2016, right? It's not super super. Um, yeah, but this is still more of the problem, though, Nate. That's all I'm saying. Like, I get really? it. I'm not Sequ- trying to sequels say- are more of the problem. Oh, I disagree. Yes, with that. yes, that was it's what got us here to be- property that they're making a sequel to. That's like saying, 
No, that's fine. What's wrong with that? You, you like Robocop 2, all the sequels? You like Highlander? You've got a lot of Highlander there. That's not my point, though, but you're acting like this is what we need right now. What we need is original stuff, not Accountant 2, no. not something okay. 3, not this remake, not that reboot. Like another one we're so, probably going to fucking talk about today, Roadhouse, what I've been warning people about for a while now. And they're like, that can't be real. <laughs> We weren't going to talk about that, but you misconstrued my point a little bit, a little bit there. So what I meant was, I get what you're saying. I'm just being an. We're ass. getting normal films, less blockbusters, right? Less 200, 300 million dollar movies, right? This movie, I doubt would shoot for more than a hundred million dollars. This is what the industry needs: these mid tier movies, yep. these mid tier films. We used to get this all the time. There'd be great films that were out all the time like this. Yeah. And we just stopped getting them. The Killer on Netflix, that was a movie you would have seen in the theatres before. And it's been relegated to bloody Netflix. There's so many movies that you would have you would have had the chance to watch in the theatres, yeah. right, in the past. But they just don't. They go direct to streaming or, or better yet, they just don't even get made. So that's what I mean by that, like these mid-tier movies. And, you know, it's a sequel. Eh, it's a sequel to an original property, which I don't think is bad. You know, people in the chat seem to be really excited about it. It's, it, you know what? It's, it's not original like Godzilla. I'm just saying. Well, yeah, okay, but all right. that's true. But you see what I mean? Like, like I don't know. Mid, we need more of these mid-tier movies. That is what we do need. We absolutely you mean by the budget? Yes, yes, I agree with you there. As far as like the rest of it, though, to me, this is still Hollywood playing it safe because this is the typical of yes, them. Though. Yeah, yeah, this is their, yeah, yeah, no, you are right. This is them playing it safe, but still, yeah, taking a risk, but in a safe fashion, I guess, because it is still kind of a risk in that, in that way to them. Currently, they're very risk averse. Um, and I can imagine this, this the quick turnaround. They need movies. So this is one of those quick turnaround things. Yeah. There you go. I'm surprised it's not going straight to streaming or something like that. That's kind of the level of this. If you ask me. Like, I'm surprised this ain't going to be an Amazon exclusive or some shit. Yeah. True. True. Well, there you go, ladies and gents. There you go. I think we can uh, shuffle on from that now. Um, so we do have, just as an FYI, we've got some uh, Super Chats to get to. So we're going to get to them now. 